Hey guys, I'm Box Truck Corey, and today I'm going to tell you three ways to make $100 an hour work camping while you're living in your van or RV or minivan or anything. So $18 investment. We're going to go make $100 an hour right now. Let's go. It's Box Truck Corey. Now, first off, know that this is, this is not some work online, digital nomad kind of thing. Because a lot of people, that's just not a, a practical option. They're not, uh, they're not the type, they don't have the background, they're not, gonna, they're not gonna be the world's next digital nomad. It's just not gonna happen. So here's three different ideas. Right, Dopey? Right, Dopey? Now, I'm wearing this shirt for a reason. Yard done. This was a little business that I sold in order to buy this box truck and start band life. And I want to talk to you. Don't, oh, jeez. Slobber. She's a big dog. Big dog. Thankfully, this does not include cleaning toilets at a campground for minimum wage. 10 bucks an hour versus 100 bucks an hour. So, the secret really is start your own seasonal small business and don't work for someone else for minimum wage. $15 investment, guys at the dollar store and Home Depot for this first business, eavesdrop cleaning. Now you put a free ad on Craigslist or Kijiji and around a big city, a growing city. I do it in Toronto, but I've done it in other places too. I've actually spent 12 years living in the US, so I've run businesses in both. And this, uh, this whopping investment to make $100 an hour cost uh, six bucks at the dollar store and 16 at Home Depot. We bought a couple scoops for the eaves trough. Big one, deep one, skinnier one, small one. They only had a pink one with daisies, but you know what? I'll still make a hundred bucks an hour with it. And from the electrical department of Home Depot or any hardware store, just a cheap, small fish tape. Electricians use it for fishing wires inside a wall that's already built. And this is 18 bucks and it's just a wire. But, you'll see why it's important. Now, I say $18 investment because you probably have the equipment that you also need. If you're living van life, well, do you have a five gallon bucket? And, well, let me turn you around here. It's a ladder, guys. Do you have one of these for cleaning your solar panels? If you have solar panels on the roof of your rig, you have to get up there. Most people I've seen use these little collapsible ladders because they work great. If you have one of those, you're good to go. If you haven't seen the box truck, we'll give you a quick little tour soon to get back to some work on it. But anyhow, let's take our bucket, our scoops, in our fish tape and let's go make a hundred dollars an hour. This is this driveway that I was telling you about. That I'm gonna rent. Stay. Stay girls, stay. You gotta stay. It's a little tight and it's a busy street. But it works. Lots of traffic noise, but I'm here work camping, guys. 
This isn't a picnic, I'm not at the beach. This is about how you can make $100 an hour work camping, working for yourself. Let's go. Just down this road from where I'm parked is a neighbor's house. We're gonna clean this eaves trough. It's just a little bungalow, ranch, easy roof. I'm gonna make me $100 an hour. Second trip, I don't like to carry much. I'm gonna bring the ladder separately. Now, this is just how easy it is, guys. You find an eaves trough full of crud, then you just scoop it out, you know, dollar store scoops, maybe that one. You know, I, I really like this new pink one, this pink daisy one. Then all you do, you know, simple as that, you scoop it out. And when you have a scoop full, you, you just, you just dump it in your five gallon bucket and within an hour, man, you get all the way down, all the way around this house. And then, you know, after you've cleaned out, you, you, you just take a little fish tape. Extend that, I don't know, five, six feet, and you ream it up and down just to get, you know, just to get around the, the bends. It's as simple as that. Just as, just as simple as that, guys. 100 bucks an hour. You could do it too. I tell you, it's easy. Just don't fall off the roof. It's just a run-of-the-mill kind of bungalow, ranch-style house. I just sit down with my leg, my butt on the roof. And I move my bucket over. And I move my foot over. And I slide my butt. I always have at least one butt and one foot on the roof for traction. I haven't fallen off yet. That one's too high though, guys. Got to move a ladder around to do it. Three feet at a time, all the way around. It's just not safe. Well, guys, it's the next day. I'm back up here on the roof. It's just climbing up and down the ladder, uh, you know, a few times to empty the bucket. I, I can't do it like I used to, so that's why I work like this uh, doesn't work for me anymore. I'm just I'm too sick with my health problems to to really do anything physical but for you like you know think about it this might be the the right thing and guys the, the, the these little postage stamp sized lots people pay 40 bucks to cut the grass all around a big city you make 35 bucks an hour if you want to deal with either hauling a lawnmower and weed whacker around in your storage bin or larger vehicle or maybe having a tiny little rental unit and you store your tools for your your summer side hustle 40 bucks though just to cut cut a lawn a subdivision lawn well guys the job is done it took just over an hour the homeowner stopped by left a little envelope for me and I wasn't, I, I was around, I don't know why they didn't see me, but I am the proud owner of $120 in cash. It took just over an hour. You can put an ad in Craigslist around any major city in the US. What I would do is I would put an ad for all the surrounding cities in the metropolitan area. And I would plan two or three day stealth camping trips to each of these cities. And while I was there, I'd take care of a customer or two. You see, when you're making $100 an hour, you can afford to drive your box truck rig or your RV or your eight cylinder van to do it. If you're delivering fast food, 
how, how are you going to make any money? So I did promise three ways. Here's the next. And this is a little more outside the box because to do it, you need to buy a piece of equipment. Tree trimming, hedge trimming, pruning. You can make $150 an hour or more. And when you get sick of the city in two years time, you just sell the business and you go to a different city and you check it out, enjoying van life, and you just do it all again. You need a pole saw. You can buy them. Uh, the best I think is the, the steel combi system. And it's got a little weed whacker motor. And you can put different attachments on it. And it's a uh, strong enough grade that it will last. It will do the job for you. Don't buy the $100 one. You're going to have to invest some money. Maybe you can get a used one. But a steel combi system with a pole saw, you can trim branches that are up to four inches thick. All these little trees, like these ones out here. Can you see it? It's starting to get dark out. But it's starting to overhang the driveway. In fact, it's a bit of a problem for my truck. If I still had a pole saw, I'd take care of that. But there's another one over there. They're everywhere. All you need is one small piece of equipment that you could keep in a rig like this. A box truck, even a van with a cargo rack or a little trailer. And if you want to do something like grass cutting that pays 40 bucks per tiny little yard, you'll make 35 and you don't say you don't want to haul that lawnmower around with you. You just rent the smallest storage unit you can and it's a tax write-off. It's such an easy way to make money. Why work for minimum wage doing the jobs at the campground that nobody else wants to do? Do you really want to cut grass for them for minimum wage? If you can make 35 bucks an hour yourself and all you need to do is buy a used lawnmower and weed whacker off a of Craigslist for 300 bucks, you know, it, it just amazes me what people will do for minimum wage. Coming from a broke guy who lives in a box van, travels around on 12 grand a year. But hey, you can do it. The third job, window washing. The house next door, two-story house, they just paid $110 for a guy to come and wash the outside, only the outside, of all the windows in the house. And his equipment was a ladder, just like mine. Well, could be, right? And a, a, a squeegee in a bucket of soapy water. That's all he needed. It took him 40 minutes. Made $110. You could do that too. What else? Think about it. What are your skills? What do you enjoy doing or don't mind doing? The key is to offer a service to someone that has more money than time and do it well so they will keep calling you and make sure it's seasonal because you don't want to get locked down. You're in van life. Van life, Dopey. She knows. My great Dane and Doberman travel with me and we are loving it. You can too. And this is how you can make decent money to support your travels. Now you can park in a driveway like this one where I'm also doing some work for this homeowner and be friendly to the neighbors like I've been and they don't care, they don't complain, it's working. Or you can park at Walmart or you can stealth park anywhere. All you need to be is close to a city where people have money and you can do any type of service business. And guys, here is a radical idea on how to make even more than your $100 an hour. After two seasons of building this little small business of yours up, sell it. Yes, a business with as few as 10 
customers. Now this little landscaping business, cleaning eaves troughs, cutting grass with 10 customers, sold for $10,000. So that's an excellent way to improve on your $100 an hour work camping income. You build the business up, probably two seasons to 10 or 12 customers that want you to come back. You put it out on Craigslist or Kijiji if you're in Canada and you sell it. You can register a small business in any state, in any province, online easily. It's simple and even in the worst places is not that hard and you can get tax deductions. At tax time instead of paying the government they can pay you for mileage, for your tools, for the ladder that you really needed to clean your solar panels but is now a tax write-off to clean an eaves trough or trim a tree. You can get a write-off for your five gallon poop bucket. You can. If you also if you also use it for clean and ease troughs, think about it guys. There are a lot of advantages for you to start a seasonal business of any nature. If I had the health, I would be doing this today. I'd spend summers up north building a business that I plan to sell in two years and I would spend winters in the desert. And you can do it everywhere. Everywhere there is a city with people with money. That's what you need. Work for yourself. Unless you're sick like me. Then retire, build out a box truck, go to the desert every winter. I'm Box Truck Corey, and that's my advice. Have a great night, and thank you for watching.